on to the ne <laughs> why <laughs> ah on to the next game i am gonna absolutely butcher the name of it so let's let um type it in and we'll let it pronounce it itself How to pronounce it. Here we go. Let's see. Hypnagoga. Okay, yeah, thanks. That was very useful. Uh, I just wanted Google to pronounce it. Why are there so many pronunciation channels on fucking YouTube? Dictionary, maybe they have it, right? Yeah. Hypnagogic. No, oh, that's not right. Hypnagogia, then? Is that how it's said? Hypnagogia. Hypno we're going to say Hypnagogia, the robot voices command it, so, uh, fucking god, it's a, kind of built like a PS1 game, kind of similar to the last one, except, you know, I don't know, not quite the same gameplay, but it's, it is a state between dreaming and waking up, I think. I can tell you real quick. Google is your friend. It is a word I don't use in everyday speech. Experience of the transitional state between wakefulness and sleep in humans. I guess it's whenever you're going into sleep. I... It's got some shit to do with sleeping. There's too much shit to read. I'm not gonna bother. Yeah. Dream Station. LSD Jam 2020. They actually have... It's at the proper resolution, but it's lowered, like, to look blurry and stuff, like a PS1 game. It's actually kind of neat. It's a neat little touch to detail. Well, here you go. I don't know how long this is. I also hope it's not like insanely loud, can I? Learn. Jump. Run. This is already really cool looking. Kinda hurts when it's moving though. I am Gogi. Go Goji? Welcome to the Dream Hub. You can view controls or leave the hub from the pause menu using the tab key or start if you're using a controller. There's one bright red crystal in each dream. They may be hard to find, so look everywhere and talk to everyone. Also, things may get weird or surreal later. These are dreams after all. Something really weird happens, though. Be sure to let the dev know. Anywho, you'll probably be seeing me around. I'll activate the first pillar for you. Catch you later. Yeah. 
Okay, so you just say the same thing. Nothing extra. Um, I'm really good at video games, alright? Don't you ever talk to me again. I want to jump to it. Is it down here? Like, can I just... Look, it's right there. It's right below the water. Cursor, sorry. This is <laughs> this is so cool, man. What a warm, fuzzy feeling I have right now. Sometimes it's the smallest things in life that need your most attention. Cats here will be happy to see a new face. Hope you brought some treats. Anyways, tell them Goji said hello. There ain't rabbit. Oh yeah, there was a weird bug. I remember reading your sensitivity resets every time you enter a new area. So I think I'll just leave it default, honestly. When it was moving fast, it was kind of painful. I think it's fine right now. Greetings, Traveler. We've been expecting you. Please visit our temple and speak with the Elder Cat. It sits to the, to the east on top of the hill. You can't miss it. Okay. Welcome to our sanctuary, Traveler. It is an honor to have you here. We hope you find peace and comfort within our walls. Please stay as long as you'd like. I can't go over there, there's an invisible wall. Fuck. You are a pleasant sight for an old cat. Don't mind me, just keeping the grounds clean. If you wish to speak with our elder, he is inside. meditating best to leave them undisturbed sacred tower restful one your peace presence is of the highest honor to us not a business I wish to make a trade with you I haven't eaten all day and grow very hungry the monks are too busy to help me but you look up to the task bring me a fish with which to eat and I will reward you hurry now I will be waiting here looks like the elder has given you a task I'm sure it has to do with food he is always hungry Try looking around the temple grounds, I'm sure you'll find something. Helping our elder with a small task? How noble of you. 
You can see we are busy people. Lots to do, lots to do. Maybe you should speak with some of the other monks in the garden below. I hear gossip of a task you've been given by our elder. I'm afraid I don't have much in the way of help, but you should try speaking with our welcoming monk down the stairs over there. Looking for me, you say? I believe I can show you in the right direction. Keep a small bundle of fish for snacking when I get hungry. Take a look under the ramp leading towards the temple. Feel free to take as much as you like. I have plenty to spare. Is the ramp leading to the temple? You mean I could have gotten fucking fish the entire time? Check the other side. Take the whole bundle. Wow, greedy fuck. He just wanted a fish. I smell tuna. Is that fish on you? I'm getting hungry now. Mm, delicious. Thank you for your offering, kind traveler. I will honor my end of the bargain and grant you passage. Please ascend the steps above the top of our temple. What you find there will help you in your journey. Good fortune on you and take care. Morale. <laughs> Morale. Fortune in our elder feeds us well. We love our tuna. Often we get to see a sunrise as beautiful as this one. Take a moment to breathe, relax those shoulders, stretch. The scenery below is just an added bonus. The rest are weary eyes on. Take good care of yourself. You and others will appreciate it. It won't let me walk off the tower. All right, goodbye, cat. You know, this game was made by one person for the 2020 LSD Game Jam. The devs spent a total of 26 days finalizing the code, art, and animations. They worked from October 30th through November 25th for nearly 80 hours a day. Crazy. But it does take a lot of work to make a game. So. I'm gonna show my cursor every time I touch a diamond. Ain't nothing I can do about- Oh, this place sucks. Oh god, no more bright areas, please. Whoa, a bit of a draft wa draft way up here. A bit of a draft way up here, wouldn't you agree? I can't read. Sometimes I forget to stop and breathe a little. 
In a world full of problems, the soft sound of wind calms us all. You'll be fine, just don't look down. Already did, deal. Are you up here because you have lots of worries too? I like it because it lets me clear my head and finally think. Reading the inscriptions of our immaculately carved statues helps me relax too. There's an inscription. Damus Damus is much venerated and deeply is a much venerated and deeply celebrated god. Homes, pleasure, and dance are but a few elements of this divine being. Mildir is vastly is a vastly honored and often obeyed god. Answers, riddles, and life are principal elements of this divine being. Is there gonna be a fucking quiz? Cause I'm not gonna remember this. Gods are so unappreciated, underappreciated. Just look at them. They're majestic chariots of air, water, and lightning. Something so delicate yet so deadly. It's rather humbling. Thank you, Dix. Where is the hugely respected and greatly praised God? Peace, balance, and nature are very important elements of this divine being. Gaius the greatly, is a greatly esteemed and hugely obeyed God. Property, nature, and birth are dominant elements of this divine being. What about me falling to my fucking death? Hey. Aww. Really? Just in case I have to talk to them like it's scripted or something. I'm just gonna skip through them. You're a big boy of sticks, aren't you? Welcome to my sky palace. You seem pretty far from home, am I right? Well, unfortunately, if you wish to proceed, you must face a challenge. You must fight me to the death in a battle of epic proportions. I'm kidding. What would I even do? Just float and chime? Not much of a threat. What I can do, however, is show you the way home. Just talk to my brother over yonder. He looks like me, only smaller. I'm not normally a fan of big heights. It gives me the chills. Flying this high would be dangerous in any other circumstance. There's a bellowy pillow of clouds under us though, so that's nice at least. I don't know, it killed me the last time I fell down there, so I don't think it's that nice. Ah, isn't the mind a beautiful place to escape to? There's no limits here, you're free to do whatever you want. It's a bit frightening being given so much power, don't you think? Right now, I'm racing robot jaguars on the moon. That's really... That's really random, my friend. Hee <laughs> hee. Oh no. There's gonna be a quiz on these fucking gods, dude. If 
spoke to my older brother back there. He likes a good joke from time to time, as you can guess. Anyways, the path beyond me takes you deeper into the dream. I'll open it for you. Under one condition, guess the correct answer to my riddle. For you are four statues of gods long past. The question is, which of these divine beings' principal elements are answers, riddles, and life? Um, answers, riddles, and life. Uh, the, is it the green? Oh, it's this one, right? Yeah. Look, I'm genius. Best answers to life questions were solved through riddles. Yep. I'm, I'm so smart, dude. Very good. You've done your homework, or was that a lucky guess? Either way, my word is bond. We always appreciate visitors, so come and see us in our beautiful statues again. Alright, will do, buddy. Except I'm lying. I'm not gonna ever come back here again. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck this staircase, though. <laughs> I don't know what that says, I can't read Japanese. You know there may be secrets hidden here and there throughout the dreams you explore? I heard a good way to find them is to look for walls with significantly different textures. No one even told me of an entire secret world hidden within one of the later dreams. Cool. Touch gem. Oh. Oh no. Top of infinity to as deep as deep can go. He's got a little fucking thing on his head. Like a fishbowl. Blowing weightlessness is a comforting blanket. Let the water take you where it needs to and enjoy the ride. I've been down here a long time and managed to collect quite a few trinkets. The only thing I can't stop thinking about is owning a nice big crusty anchor. Maybe I could interest you in helping me look for one? In exchange, I'll set you up with one of my most prized possessions. Let me know when you found an anchor. I'm not going anywhere. statues, dude. Was this pyramid built here or up there? Why would you build something so deep down here? These are things that keep me up at the night. The platforms are looking real curious right now, though. Things become lost. They are reclaimed by the deep ocean. Lo thoughts and Material items, civilizations, all here. You never know what you'll find. Some would say something like that is unfathomable. I'll be here all week. Was it was it a joke? I didn't Is this like this is an intelligent comedy. <laughs> not, I don't get it. I really don't. <laughs>
Am I making it? Oh shit, that was really close. Check that out, a big old anchor. Not too exciting, I guess. Huh, well, the dig continues. I'll let you take it off my hands. Maybe someone will have more of an interest in it than me. Massive iron anchor clad with a thick coat of rust and a sea crud. Somehow pick it up and shove it in your pocket. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. That is one good looking anchor. I'll set it up front and center for all the world to see. Thanks for nabbing that for me. My prized possession, you ask? Climb those platforms over there by the pyramid. You'll find it at the tip top. Yeah, I wonder what it could be. Just as you show up, showed up, I saw another platform descend from the sky. Those humans and their junk. The second they don't need it, bam. Tossed into the pearl blue. More neat stuff for us then, I guess. Goodbye, my water chum. Winded. What brings you up here? Trying to check out that weird artifact? Fair enough. Well, don't mind me. I'll just be admiring the foggy scenery. It's kind of like the eel from uh, Mario, <laughs> Mario 64. Yeah, I did it, dude. Jealous? Yeah, I thought so. You know, the dev is a huge fan of 90s 3D games, if you haven't already guessed. Their favorite titles include Mega Man Legends, Mario 64, Silent Hill, and LSD Dream Emulator. Just to... What? No, come on. I don't like that he said Silent Hill. <laughs> Over the hedge. 
Is that an ogre? Life gets compared to a lot of things, you know? A beach, a game, or something about lemons. I think it's mostly like a big maze, I mean. Think about it. Put all those other things in a maze and I think you'll get a better comparison. Just talking about it is making my head spin. Don't get lost. You gonna help me trim these hedges? Ah, don't bother. The one thing I don't need is someone messing things up. All these young folks sleeping all day wearing the fancy knickknacks. Back in my day, we landscaped till the sun came up. That was our entertainment. Uh, that's cool, dude. I don't want to be like that. Do not fear the mine labyrinth. It is only a singular passage. Lost or confused, please call your guardian. Okay. Oh. So tired, so sleepy, so comfy. You should find another way. I could just jump over you. Okay, that's bullshit. You're cheating me. like a Mega Man chest, actually. I can see that. Empty looking chest is sitting here. You swear you've seen it before. Try opening it, but it's locked, surely. Securely. Where would one find a key? The orange figure watches you while you dream. Okay. You lick the maze plant. Shame on you. What? Indigenous maze plants. Do not touch or lick. Look like someone that can't be where they need to be. Let me guess. My bro is in the way again? Yep. I'll have a move for you. Catch you later, bub. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thanks, Ogre Man. I'm actually trapped in a maze now. Was I in the way? Sorry, I get so tired lazing around all day. Feel bad now. I know, I'll make it up to you with a gift. Take my old skeleton key. I never found out what it went to. Yeah, give me that key. Fuck that shit. I know where I'm taking it. I got a coin! Something tells you this is your lucky day. You take the coin with excitement. The music's pretty nice in this game. 
A key open a chest hidden in the maze, you say? I've been here for years and I've never seen any chests. Very odd. Glad you managed to find a use for that old key, though. Offer a coin, your wish will come true. Oh, so I needed the coin. Put the coin you used in the fountain, your wish will, will forever remain a secret. Was it to leave this place? Where one path ends, three branch from it. Fucking go, dude. Let's fucking go. I've been sitting with this keyboard in my lap and I don't even need it. <laughs> there we go. That's better. Now there's no weight on my lap for like no reason. Hello, little rabbit. Is it Goji? Did you know I was the first model the dev made and animated when production began? The idea of a cute white rabbit leading you around dreams sounded very Alice in Wonderland, so I was born. My name, Goji, is derived from the game's title, Hypnagogia. You pronounce it Hypnagogia. Oh, well, there you go, look. We're learning. Is this the end of the world or the end of something more metaphorical? The weather's not doing us any favors, so don't think about it too hard. It's a scary world out there, especially if it's your world that's in the mix. Strangers may try to fool you. They have no control over your choices. Ooh, a scummy looking area, ain't it? Hey man, got any loose change on you? I need to get out of the rain. Not at all? That's fine, I guess. Take care out there. I'll just stay here hoping the next guy will come along with something for me. I mean... What about all the water? Who gives a fuck about the rain? The fuck is that? We won't last long this close to our breaking point. Take it from me, man. I mean, look at the state we live in. It's rough. We all need to wake up and face reality. It's downhill and always has been. What about the blood man out there? He will come and he will save. I don't like that noise. There's the edge of the world. <laughs> Are you here to check this thing out too? Yeah, weird looking structure. Well, he's been here for some reason. No clue what's at the end of it. I'd give it a go, but you know, I'm not really feeling it. If you're brave enough to hop over there, let me know if you find anything. I'm brave enough, I can't though. There's a, there's, it's the exit, that's what it is. Go away, we're full up. 
Oh wait, we're full up. Oh wait, we're full. You know, none of you guys are gonna welcome me to the fire gang. Lost nearly everything after the flood, left my house in shambles as you can see. All I have left is this chair and a bunch of soggy books. Only one of which is actually dry and legible. A dictionary of all things. Maybe they'll be worth something to someone and I can get back on my feet. I don't know, man. And dictionaries are kind of outdated. Maybe not in this world. <laughs> I stay here I stay warm I need that fire can't have any wish I could give you some but I can't if I gave you any how would I keep warm give me a break here well you know you should probably build the fire over here where the rain can't hit you that would be that'd probably be smart whatever dude you live your life you live the best life you can live Cool graffiti. Alpha Beta Gamma. Game. Gam. Gamma. Gamma. Alpha Beta Man. Oh, they got vine sauce. It's like the little mural that people who played the game. That's cool. Manly badass hero. LSD jam. I can't. I can't fucking read that one. Something begins with a T. Uh. John's Wolf and then itch.io Dang kids and their tags Those are cool though, I like those I didn't know Manly played it, I knew Vinny played it like, I saw, like, the first few seconds of him starting it up, and I was like, nope, I'm not watching this. I was like, you know, I'm, I'm gonna play this. Because it looks really cool. Sometimes it'd be like that. He'll play, like, a really cool game, and I'm just like, I can't watch him play it. I want to. But I definitely want to play that game. <laughs> so I just want to go into it. Blind as hell. Minecraft tree. There's so much garbage strewn around all the time. The floor you're walking on right now? Made of garbage. These clothes I'm wearing? Complete garbage. Why bother recycling our trash when we can just make new trash? Doesn't have to be garbage, man. That's the dude with the soggy books. That's the group that don't want nothing to do with me because they're dickheads. Let's see if he'd let me have his dictionary, but nope.
fuck are you doing? Dude, your feet are gonna get all wet and stuff. An overwhelming amount of ways to keep ourselves entertained nowadays, although I just yearn for the good old days where we just sat back and read a book. Books, those seem to be pretty sure supply lately. Tell you what, go find me a nice book to read and I'll give you a hint. Seems like a fair trade, right? Knowledge for knowledge. I have a book for you, friend. Looking for a book? I can sell you my dictionary. It's all I got. No money on you? Ah, who am I kidding? It's not worth anything anyways. It's yours. Just take it. I never learned anything from it. Yeah. Yeah, I got it. He just gave it to me. What a nice guy. He lost everything and he's still willing to give me his book. Dictionary, is that your idea of a hilarious joke? Wasn't what I had in mind when I mentioned entertainment. Better than nothing, I guess. If anything, should make good kindling. And for my equally disappointing hint, the edge of town is a concrete structure covered in graffiti. Been there for longer than I can remember, and no one's been brave enough to explore it. Everyone says they've seen some kind of shining object at the end of it. Go check it out. Are you here to check this thing out too? Yeah, weird looking strike. Okay, yeah, he just says the same shit. He doesn't even change what he says at all. That's cool. This is just a depressing area. Is the pillar getting taller every time? It sure seems like it. You know. Hypnagogia is a term used to describe the transition between wakefulness and sleep. During the state, people have experienced strange hallucinations, lucid dreams, but scariest of all, sleep paralysis. The themes of this game are an attempt at depicting dreams while induced by the state. Well, there you go, that's what it is. Now you don't have to Google it. Find the figure. It's not always feasible to live in your safe zone, you know? Sometimes you gotta leave it for a little. Leave it for a little, ease out of the, into the unknown. A certain staleness in the air when we're uncomfortable or lost. Looking past it and moving on is the best you can do. Old withered clock's hands are stuck on 1201. You can still hear the ticking of the pendulum. The door doesn't feel real, more like it's painted on. You can't leave. Pocket is broken. Convenient. Door no work. Up, man still watch my old, old favorite shows every chance I get on repeat all day the only way I can truly tune out all the bad noise that surrounds me I don't care how much it melts my brain it's satisfying hearing familiar things I didn't want to talk to you again motherfucker your own business ever feel like you've been stuck somewhere for seemingly forever like the exit's right behind me, but I can't see it. So comfortable here, though. It's hard to explain in words. I mean, there is an exit right behind you. Cool. It's cool, man.
endless channels, media, sounds, it all gets a bit mushy after a while. I have nothing new to listen to. I need a new sound, something to help me sleep. If I had a radio or something, it would put me at ease again. Will you help me fill the void with something pleasant for once? Me. I'm not real. I don't exist. He's so sexy. Yeah. Shadow man. Is there. Ooh. I don't like that. I have everything I need here. It's my perfect private paradise. My type of shadow. <laughs> Sharing it with other people just leaves me vulnerable. I don't want that. Happened before and it'll happen again. Why bother risking it? I like the music here. Hypnagogia. It is the state between, uh, Being awake and asleep, I guess. I don't know. Basically lucid dreaming. I don't... Oh, come on. No, 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 no. I'm gonna take this shit. Something's gonna happen. Hearing it doesn't do anything. It's stuck on the same frequency. You take the radio. I guess. I don't know for sure. Hey buddy, I got a radio. Ah, oh, finally, some soothing sounds. I feel a little more complete than before. Maybe now I can sleep again. Maybe now I can wake up. Thank you. Hope you can find a noise that suits you too. Nothing new to say. Slow turning. I can turn it up. It just resets every time you go into a new room, so I don't bother. I kind of like it. <laughs> I kind of like it a lot. I help that dude. I'm supposed to go back where I got the radio? 
Wait, this is a different area. What? Oh, it didn't let me jump. Fuck. Yeah. Oh, come on. Don't do this to me. Let me on. Yeah, let's go. When was the last time I shaved? My reflection is there, but the glass is fogged. If you don't find anything interesting here. No one will. No one will probably even get this far. I'm so hungry, but I'm too tired to make anything. There's a tunnel over there. I'd go with you, but I have to stay here. Can't ever leave. Take care. What? Okay, bye, guy. Wait, there's snack machines, dude. You... Besides the shadow people? Not really, no. Ooh. Fuck are you? Give me your dreams. I don't like that thing. Oh no, no, no don't get up, dude. Oh, he's, he's gone. Okay, we're good. That guy was spooky. At first, I thought he was like one of the little Among Us guys. <laughs> then I realized that's not what he was. You know, there's an entire commentary script within the game folder written by the dev. It describes the origins of each dream. You can explore it in the game. Check it out. That's cool. Late for cloud. <laughs> I don't want to do this one. Oh, fuck. There's a rabbit. You ever find yourself cold and alone, clean to something, anything? Doesn't matter if you forgot the answers to that one test. No one blames you when you were late to that one meeting. It's all just a bunch of numbers, pointless records, and data entries. The rock we live on rotates another day. It's gonna be okay. This way. Lifeless mannequin stares bleakly into space. With what? It doesn't have a head. Well, 
lifeless mannequin wants to go home. Lifeless mannequin feels unfulfilled. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you in the spooky mood. Lifeless mannequin is hungry? Maybe some food will satisfy it. Alright. Doesn't have a fucking face, but... kind of meat. It doesn't look very appetizing. Nice. Oh no. I miss like a coin or something? Maybe? probably want this. Fuck's he, how's he gonna eat it? The meat scared the shit out of me. <laughs> this is a spooky atmosphere here. Lifeless mannequin is tired now. You feel a wave of intense foreboding to overtake your body. It's all dark and spooky now. Nice. Hi, mannequins. Hi, mannequins. Hi, mannequins. I fed you, bro. We cool? This <laughs> shit. This is some shit, man. Mm -hmm. 
Well, we've come full circle. This should be the last dream, right? I don't like the direction these dreams are taking, though. Do you know the dev has other games they've made that you can play for free on their Itch a Toad page? I might check them out, honestly. <laughs> if you're enjoying this experience so far, they'd love it if you tried the others out too. Yep. Yeah, Prison of Souls. It's a this is a welcoming place, honestly. I couldn't ask for a better place to be. They're trying to keep you from waking up. I won't let them. Passage to wakefulness must be protected at all costs. Whatever it takes, don't listen or look at them. Focus your mind. Clear your thoughts. You'll wake up soon. Okay. Okay. Don't listen to them or look at them. Is that important? Like, am I not supposed to look at them? Whatever they are. The fuck is that? It's <laughs> like a dinosaur. <laughs> Oh, it's a rabbit. Oh, bye. Oh. Okay. Is is this even still a dream? I'm feeling hot and uncomfortable. Please help me wake up. I don't think I can, dude. I don't have that power. Why am I here? What did I do wrong? I did everything right. Why are the walls closing in? I don't belong here. But where do I belong? I don't remember. The air is thick and damp. It's getting hard to breathe. Nightmare will be eaten. All right. sound right <laughs> the chaos emerald the fucking cursor off this
New dream select mode unlocked. Ralph Corella, Soda Raptor. a bunch of music from Newgrounds. That's pretty cool. I didn't know there was music like this on Newgrounds, dude. It's over. Thanks for playing. Up plus. Oh, so I can go to any dream I want now. So good to see you again. You're in the enhanced dream hub, or just hub plus as we call it. From here you can jump to any dream you've entered whether, whenever you want, even the secret dream. Read each crystal to know what you're jumping into, then touch it. The secret dream, man. Secret dream, snow world. Well, I want to see Snow World. Build a snowman. What a blisteringly blinding field of wintry goodness. Bit of a stark contrast to where we just were, isn't it? The delicate touch of snowflakes makes me feel all tingly inside. Let us forget our troubles and make friends of everyone we meet. So I guess you come here from the school area? Huh. This is very fucking painful to look at. Like, I'm not in a dark room, but ow. <laughs> Can't wait for this to finish cooking. Been waiting for hours. Or meal on a cold day is something to never take for granted. Care for a helping care for a helping of northern elk haunch? Almost done cooking. Sit with us by the fire if you're ever in need of companionship. Try to keep our life in the village simple and contained. It's not much, but it helps to have a moderately carefree outlook on things sometimes. Can't help but stay inside on days like this. It's maximum comfort. Warm crackling fire and someone to share it with are all I need. Wouldn't an igloo like melt? I don't know anything about igloos. But I would assume if you made heat in them they would melt, right? Or is it just cold enough outside? Let's sneeze. Well, sorry. I've been stuck inside with a cold all day today. It's so boring in the village. I wish I could go play with my friends. Ewoks <laughs> Oh shit, there's a dude building a snowman. Let's go. It's 
spoke with our sick friend? Guess she's still stuck at home. I mean, you could help us finish Mr. Snowman. We just need some good sticky snow to roll over the head. I hear that plateau over there has the best snow. What should we name you, Mr. Snowman? How about Sir Watson Maxwell Brimsley the Third? Ah yes, the fancy and refined Mr. Brimsley the Third. It'll be right proper soon. We're not very good at making snow angels. Sometimes we just need an excuse to fall into a snow bank, though. I lay here all day. I've been used to the cold my whole life. So it's comfortable. Besides, who doesn't like to waft around the snow every so often? This one do. Trying to break my record for most times sledded downhill with no sled. Far I think I'm on number a thousand. Okay, maybe I'm exaggerating. the roll of snow off the cliff. Nice. Got enough snow to make a head for our buddy here. Hmm, need some features. If anyone should have the things to make the eyes, the nose, the mouth, our sick friend should. You're gonna make me walk back over the village? Come on, man. It's cold. I probably don't even have a nice warm jacket like you guys do. Alright. It's a great looking snowball. Well, more like a snow boulder. Here, I'll put the I'll put this carrot and a bunch of buttons on it. It should give him a cute face. Take the head over to my friends and they should be able to help finish the snowman now. I will. Thank you. And then it comes alive and kills us all. I don't know if I'm heading there. <laughs> Dead. You got, a, you got enough snow to make a head for a... Yeah, it needs features. Okay. Yeah, but they, they did it. Well, did I have to grab them? Oh, say it ain't so. God damn it. Goodbye, Sneezy. Finished a snowman. Thanks for all your help, Traveler. Go speak with our elder. She lives atop the mountain to the north. Be careful getting up there, though. It's a tricky climb. I'll finish, Mr. Fancy Pants. Look very snazzy, as one would expect. Don't worry, I'll spend all day tomorrow making you a snow friend. Thank you. 
Hell yeah, let's go. Oh god, it's becoming harder and harder to see. <laughs> All this white. Holy shit. What's up, man? What's this? A strange visitor from a faraway land? Come to my mountaintop hut. How interesting. Surely you didn't make this trip all the way up here for nothing. Forgive me, an old woman grows cold. Fetch me my tea, would you? It's on the fire. Thank you. Have you ever had snow tea? It's exactly what you think. All natural. What do you mean, snow tea? That's just water. I believe I know why you're here and what you seek. Dreaming is a marvelous thing, no? One minute you're fast asleep with all the care in the world, the next you're dug deep into something weird and sinister that you can't escape or explain. Where do all these thoughts come from? I want to think it doesn't matter so much. Either way, dreams happen, whether we want them to or not. I know the journey you're on is often wrought with confusion and is frightening things. You're almost through, my dear. Dreams and nightmares don't last forever. I'll provide you a way to return where you may finish your travels. Outside you will find a crystal. Touch it when you wish to leave this place. Yeah, cool. Bye, Grandma. We've seen everything now. This is cool. Well, that was Hypnagogia. Hypnagogia? Or is it Gogia? I don't remember, but 